Tomorrow Freedom Fighter, the New York premiere, presented by the African Diaspora International Flame Festival. Keeping the fire ablaze in the mind, body, and soul as Fireblaze presents his EP Black River to the World. Jerk Chicken Pillard with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson. Whatever salad, even some iceberg lettuce. Groom Success Inc. is a social enterprise that develops brands that are committed to enhancing the lives of men of color across the globe. We shine the spotlight on its founder and CEO, Jeff Linder, on this week's Community Spotlight. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine, and I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. The Errol Barrow Jackie drama, Barrow, Freedom Fighter, tells the story of Errol Walton Barrow, who successfully led Barbados to the independence on November 30th, 1966, after more than 300 years as a British colony. It gives me great pleasure to be the patron of this historic event, the New York premiere of the film Errol Barrow, Freedom Fighter. Allow me to offer congratulations to the producers Dave and Marcy Weeks for their vision, concept, and determination to bring to the screen aspects of the life of the man, His Excellency Errol Walton Barrow, who in a very short period of time brought Barbados to independence. We are just beginning to understand the medium of film and the power of the medium of film. So we are we, we are we're making progress and it's taking some time the other end of that stick is the cost factor it's extremely costly to make films um in that period and the concept of investing in films and putting money behind a film is like what's that i learned <laughs> so much um researching and, and, and just dropping into this character um, because he's a man who had so much integrity dignity, hope, respect, and he had so much respect for himself that, you know, other people had to respect him, you know, and he, he, he's such a great example for all of us. Um, no matter what, you know, the circumstances, people tell him, you know, that, you know, you can't. He was like, watch me. Timing is perfect because we really need to have a project like this, uh, a movie like this, that shows what a real leader, you know, looks like, you know? You know, uh, the, the, the timing couldn't be better, and so I pray to God that we get the um, distribution and, and that we can get this in theaters all across the world. What can you level after you have profited? I want to know what kind of mirror image do you have of yourself? This is what I am concerned about. Four years ago, I was in Canada, actually, um, promoting another film that we have called Chrissy. And uh, it's a children's film. And while I was there, I saw a book at our Consul General's home on, um, on Errol Barrow. And I, first of all, I didn't even know there was a book written on him. And I read the book. And I, I was just totally, I was so inspired, you know. And I found myself, I was there for five days and I read it a second time. And I told my husband, Dave, about the book and I said, you know what, this would be so wonderful to put in a film so that our young people, so that children, young people, you know, in the schools in Barbados and throughout the Caribbean would be inspired by this man's life. I loved Errol Barrow. After my parents, it was the Dipper. And uh, growing up on the bar, as Nadia said, I'm strong, confident. I go anywhere in the world, steer you down. Say, I'm Barbadian. I grew up under the bar, Barrow's leadership. And I saw a piece in your documentary. I was a young Democrat. And I was at the headquarters that night, Barrow lost. And uh, it, it was so sad. But what Barrow taught us was we could achieve, we had the strength and the knowledge and the perseverance, and it didn't matter that we were black, we were proud, we were fierce, we were independent, 
and we were free. So when I came to America, I was fierce, proud, independent, and free. I am an American, a first generation, in fact. Uh, my family is from the diaspora, my father from the Dominican Republic, my mother is from Aruba, but Mrs. Barrow was an American. So um, our director felt very comfortable, director and writer and producer, by the way, um, Marsha Weeks, she felt very comfortable asking me to play the role of um, the Honorable Mrs. Barrow because she was actually from Jersey. So, <laughs> so, um, so she called me, uh, Marcia Weeks, and uh, we had met at a film festival a few years prior, and she remembered me and asked if I would be interested in flying to Barbados and playing the role of the First Lady. And I thought, there's nothing in that sentence that's not absolutely perfect. The movie is really about our great leader, uh, Errol Barrow. He was an amazing leader of men. We don't have men like him uh, in leadership very often anymore in any color. So it's exciting to be able to uh, be a part of a film that elevates not only how uh, men of African descent lead, but how men can lead in the world. Um, he is, bar none, one of the finest leaders, I would say, that has walked the planet, and it was a joy to, um, to pretend to play his wife. Fireblaze is known for its positive lyrics, smooth melody, straightforward and realistic approach to his music. He has been on the music scene since 2005, and the fire has been lit ever since. Show them a sign, Jaja, show them a sign. Show them how them we keep... Black River. Why Black River? Where the name? name come Black River? Well, Black River is like, you know, first of all, I'm a birthplace, you know what I mean? See? Yes, yeah, so, you know, we have viewed the thing from a birthplace, you know, until now, it's a Black River. You know what I mean? You know, a little bit of historical thing. You know, a little bit of personal thing and also I just like black people, black supremacy, black life. You know me I say black river, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a spiritual thing. Plus, you know, I'm from St. Elizabeth, big up St. Elizabeth, Black River, bright place. So couldn't get a better name. Them a sign, judge a show them a sign. Show them how them we keep that bad mind. How feed them one and them one pre mine. Not for them sell out them so all the time. Music. You know, it's, 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 it's been in me for a while from birth, you know what I mean, but it's been like 2010 I decided to just turn up the fire, wicked, wicked, you know what I'm saying? 2010, yes. Right, right, so, you know me I said 2010, 2011, around this up, you yeah. start to get serious with the thing. Yeah. And no, say, yo, I just straight music, you know what I mean? Yeah. See, so it's a culture, straight culture, or, or dance all vibes, you know, the thing. Well, now I mean growing up in New York City. I mean I'm growing up in the streets of New York, Bronx, White Plains Road, Boston Road. You know me I said the whole child state is like, you know, like we don't have the luxury of certain things that certain people have in Jamaica. So it's excited, so you know what I mean so when you hold it as Rasta you say it's kinda of different. So you have to have more strength. Yeah. More time you have to come with more strength to deal with it. I don't know, we're under the pressure. Yeah. Full, full. So, so the thing. About 2018, start half nights already. And thing, you know, the thing. Ah, you know, fire blaze the thing. Say. So, well, I don't know. For the 2018, right now, the item can look for more big music. And we have to get used to the EP. Yeah. And we are push this EP. Yeah. And the item of for just know, say, yo, fire blaze, get used to the video. Then we have crazy video coming. We yeah. got a lot of works, you know, we have some t-shirts, we yeah. have hats, we have wristbands, we have a lot of things that follow. Nice, nice. You know, yeah. we have merchandise. Yeah. So, along with the music, merchandise with the music, yeah. you know, we have to go a far. Because they don't know you. You know what I mean? And the artists are more Jamaica. Because people say, yo, the New York artists that man, very, very, and them things. What do you feel about that? Because I experience them things with the artists already. I'm not going to get that energy because I'm a New York artist, man. Oh, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, the same thing we have faced over the years still, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, personally, I and I don't feel like there's a barrier with music because music is bigger than what me and you say right now. Right. What you say right now is just people, been people are trying to control where. 
supposed to be. You cannot control music, music up by your personal preference. You let music go. Yeah. You know let it no matter how you in a space it make. Yeah. Once it's a righteous music, let it go. Of course. You must say, but yeah. Also, if remember say it's a business now, so somebody's gonna control the business. Them no have to be the genius like Steve. Uh. Them we gonna dunk for no reason. Levels of music in a Jamaica right now, where the artists are push out. Who may take on that? Well, first of all, you know me I say music of different genre, genre right now, and you know I say my genre of music is reggae. Dance all, happy music, conscious music, uplifting music, fundamental music. We don't deal with disrespect music. The woman or people are no. So certain music we don't really deal with. But as I say, it's a business now. So we don't have a problem with nobody that do them business. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we just bring the culture straight up, you know what I mean? Fireblaze I deal with the culture, culture straight. Yeah, yeah, we deal with culture thing. Yeah, man. So what's a black river, you know what I mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ja, ja, ah! Ja, ja, shine his light on me For the whole wide world to see Me find out the chops where they must set for me Me know them wish that for me Ja, ja, shine his light on me For the whole wide world to see I find out the chops what they must set for me. Me know them wish that, yeah. Boom. Fireblaze representing for T Music. Pick up this Black River EP. Boom. In the kitchen again. Yep. Yep. So, so what do you think look at now? This week, yeah. what may I do? May I change it up totally different. May I do a jerk chicken pollard. Mm -hmm. And we know, the, we know the Caribbean people that I wonder, what is jerk what chicken pollard? This is yeah. different. So you know what, this is where you definitely have to stay tuned and watch Romero. Chicken breast, nice and thin, and then I'm going to make a nice arugula salad that's going to sit right on the top. So you know what, we don't want yes, you to get burning up. So I'm going to move your side real right thing, now. Man. I'm going to take over In the kitchen. In, In the kitchen. kitchen. So here we are right now, simple. You have your nice chicken breast. And I said all the time, the Jamaican and they used to them, them curry boat and hot steel and all them something. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. You have a nice chicken breast. Nice and clean. Clean them up real nice. Alright. And then, I'm going to set the chicken. I'm get the tenderizer. Eat it. Eat it nice and thin. Nice and thin. I'm keeping some of the fat on it. Keeping some of the fat on it because there's a fat that's going to help the bit of the flavor. Keep it nice and thin. Nice and thin. And then I'm going to make a nice arugula salad that's going to go right on the top. Nice and thin. Make it nice paper thin. You see that? Nice. Beautiful. Alright? When you have it nice and thin, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Till them start breathing. Alright, I got a little bit of Obe season, a little bit of garlic powder, right, a little bit of salt and pepper. Nice. A little bit of salt and pepper, then I'm gonna go for my jerk season. Rub my jerk season all over. Nice. I just wanna give him some nice little flavor. I don't want it to be too spicy because the salad itself is gonna be very flavorful. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Get a little bit of virgin olive oil, sprinkle over him. Nice. Rub him up. See? Nice and thin. Jerk chicken pullout. Something simple and something different. Take my oil, put a little bit of oil on my drum. You're inside my kitchen, so you know I'm not gonna have the skillet, I'm gonna have the nice oil, nice flat top, make it nice and hot. Then I'm gonna come over here and take off my chicken. Take off my chicken nice. Flip him over. Take him up, put him on top of my grill. See that? And then I'm gonna open him back out again. Put some oil. 
nice. Then I'm gonna let it cook on one side, nice easy. And then I'm gonna flip him over a little bit. Now I'm gonna flip him over now. That's what I'm looking for. So now we're gonna make our salad. Our salad, some nice fresh arugula. You can use whatever salad you want. You can go with some romaine, you can go with some mixed greens, whatever salad, even some iceberg lettuce, we can go with. I'm gonna go with my champagne vinaigrette, my champagne vinaigrette, as well as you can go with balsamic, you can go with any dressing that you like, but I'm gonna go with some champagne lemon vinaigrette. All right, I'm gonna go right on top of my chicken. Make him look nice and sexy. Look at that. Simple, look good. Vinaigrette, nicely marinated. Then I'm gonna go with my strawberry. As I said, I'm changing up the game a little bit. Because you know what? It's not all the time people want to eat oxtail and curry chicken. Even though we love our native dish, sometimes we want to change it up a little bit. I'm going to go with some crumble goat cheese. Some crumble goat cheese, make him look good. And I'm going to finish him off with my roasted tomato. Make flavor just bursting out of your mouth all, in all different areas. All you're tasting is just flavor. Flavor from all different directions. Give him a nice finishing touch. All right, what do you know about that? And I'm gonna go with a nice slice of lemon. Sit right on the side. This is all we do it right here inside BB King. Wait a in the kitchen. Jeff Lindor is a social entrepreneur dedicating the next 25 years of his life to reducing the wealth, knowledge, and achievement gaps across the globe. He is the founder and CEO of Groom Success and the Gentleman's Factory, a private membership club for men of color. We're a gentleman's social network that helps men, particularly men of color, sharpen skills, enhance appearance, and connect socially. So we're a one-stop shop for personal and professional development. I you know, was born in Haiti uh, and I grew up in Brooklyn. Where um, and I was always fascinated about like my Caribbean background, and then also embracing the African American male experience in this country. And I just saw how society would treat us a little bit differently, right? Like why was people of color treated a certain way as opposed to other ethnic groups? So because of that, I always wanted to discover why and discover solutions into how we can help solve the problem. I'm a social entrepreneur today, but um, I was always a community advocate, um, you know, um, someone that was a community organizer, and I've worked in government, corporate America, and I just had so many different um, experiences that led me up to this point. So I was the um, strategic advisor to the executive staff at the department. So working with City Hall, working on the reform agenda, really then saw that, you know, why are there so many people of color incarcerated? Are we the only businesses doing crime, you know? Or, you know, so really, again, having a better understanding of criminal justice, but then having meaningful solutions to help solve the problem. So that's when I, you know, established Groom Success. Didn't really know what it was, but I knew that I needed to create a platform to help highlight positive images of men of color so that we're not 
deemed on what society thinks of us, but we're creating our own narrative. Words came as easy as they never did, and relaxing my nerves got me in rap shit as I tapped into my natural urge and love with everything I was missing. I was in graduate school and I took a social entrepreneurship class where I learned how to build an enterprise off of my passions, right? So I was always passionate about fashion, and you see a mannequin in the background here, right? You know, and the bow ties and the pocket squares, etc. I was always, you know, passionate about looking well. But then I was also passionate about community. So that's why I merged those two worlds together, groomed to success, because I just didn't want you to look good, I want you to be good, I wanted it to be substantive. How can groom success be a part of the change that needs to happen in some of these um, urban communities? Well, people operate in life based off of the level of information they retain. So we want to give information, but in an environment where it is conducive to you or you know where where you're more open to receive it, right? So at our locations, it's a duplex loft. We have the spiral stairs. You know, we have 360 degree views of the city, etc. So it's really providing an experience. And if the customer service and the experience and the culture is right, you're more open to receiving information because we're meeting you where you're. So our approach is providing experiences and providing great content so that when you obtain this new information or when you obtain this new connection or this contact, etc., that now you are no longer operating in the way that you would have prior to you coming here. You now have more information, you now have more resources, you're more empowered now to change the world. The Gentleman's Factory, we give you lots of information lots of resources, and we do a gap analysis. Where are you now? Where are you trying to go? And how can we pull our resources and our content to get you to the next level? Become a member of the Gentleman's Factory today. Join our growing community of change agents, thought leaders, and innovators. Let's learn, grow, connect and build together. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. We leave you with Ross Emanuel's new video, Next Door to God. See you next week! Sexy shape and dreamy eye uh. Time me see you a uh, cry me one uh, Cry me left it to do the father uh, Looking at the sky uh. Asking why the girl uh, who no give me the blind She up the heart for you to uh, try me not try African woman no want in my life Come, me love your bubbly girl It's no too bad Now tell no lie, me no sell no sign for you Simply Kells <laughs>